programming with Ozobot. We have Amelia and Carlos. They have designed a course here. And we have these little Ozobots that you can program and use special markers and they follow the line. What else can you guys tell me about Ozobot? Uh -huh. Most of the, what they do is under here, Yeah. they have a scanner right here. Wait, let's see. A yeah. scanner which um, contacts these and uh, these markers. Um, let's see the markers. The markers are here. Yeah. There's, there's four colors. Blue, green, red, and black. This is our and Carlos. These will make it where it'll, it'll scan it. Yeah. And it'll go by its color. And there's and it has commands you can do. And it has many different commands. So each color, yeah. it can it just does this if you just do one color. But if you do multiple colors, it, it makes a um, different move. I want to see what happens when it hits the star. What's going to happen, Carlos? What would happen is it would try to follow. And what I'm trying to do is if it doesn't go up there, it will go back to its um. Oh, okay. It'll go back here. Which, if it does, it Look at all these little here, Ozobots. It'll go back there and it'll return back. It's trying to find a line. It's trying to find a line. All the two. Like it's happy when it finds a line. <laughs> so I wonder if when it gets to the end of the line, does it stop and reverse itself? It most of the time. Unless if you try to, if you want to connect it. Like this circle, it's yeah. connected and it has no end. Most of the time, they flip themselves around, but it kind of depends on the line. Okay, that's Amelia right there. Good job, Amelia. So I wonder if we were completely in the dark, could the Autobots find their lines? They would. They would still find their lines? Yes. Tell me why. They have these scanners and it lights up. Uh -huh. So it can find its still way. It's like a night light. Okay. It just has that light. Which There's a light underneath. Mm -hmm. Okay. It also has light in here. Yeah. So even though it doesn't have, uh, if it didn't have colors on this, it could have still shined on this and it'll okay. still be able to, it'll still be able to see it. Sounds great. All right. You guys did a great job here. The Ozobot. Okay, so here we have Zach and Carlos at the Ozobot, and they are, they have a special conga line they want to set up right here. Let's set up the conga line, guys. Okay. And every time the Ozobot, what happens when the Ozobot goes over a different color, you guys? It changes colors. See? Ah, oh, crash! So we have a green, becoming a blue, becoming a red. Yep. Because why does that happen, Zach? Um, depending on what color they're on, they'll change colors or uh, yeah. let's start the conga. Carlos, why is it happening? When you put on them. Why is it happening? And then it goes even faster. Oh no. Oh no, crash. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, we have a derailment. Wait, let me try something. If I do this, if I put this right here and stop yeah. it, I can form it. With this is sort of like a train. Yes. Well, they want to get away, don't they? <laughs> Wait, is this really fast like this? Is that going to be fast? That's programming right there. This is fast. Let me try All right, so what I'm doing is taking a video of what you're doing here. All right, say your name. Stephanie, Jael, Jael, Leslie, Leslie. All right, and we are making some weaving looms here, and they're beautiful looms. Look at that, Stephanie. Um, I'm doing this. I'm tying it with some type of pattern. Then uh -huh. I'm tying all of the strings and I'm gonna tie this too. So then, whenever you take it out, it will already be like a circle as a bracelet.
Wow. Very good. So are you following directions from a book? Some research um, you did? I'm doing it by my... I'm doing it and my... I invented it. Oh, okay. I've done it before. Oh, you've done it before. Yeah. Good. So what you can do is improve what you have done before and invent something totally new. So is this a bigger loom than what you have used before, Stephanie? Yeah, I've done like the small ones. Yeah? Good. Jayel, tell us about what you are well, weaving. Well, she's helping me with this because I can't really do it. Okay. Um, I'm supposed to do like the same pattern until I want to end. Then, um, I cut it, I think, and then it makes a bracelet. Very good. And so you'll use different colors then? Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, Leslie, tell me about what you're weaving. I'm weaving a friendship bracelet, um, and I'm following the pattern of under, over, under, and you keep repeating until you get, until you um, don't have any more string to work okay. with. Okay. And you tie it off at the end. But now you are adding something. What are you adding in there? I see some charms. Um, charms. So it would be like a friendship bracelet. How do you get the charms to stay in there? Um, do you weave them in somehow? Yes. Oh. That's really pretty. And it looks like you're following a pattern that you found in a book. Am I right? I think that's fantastic. Very good. All right. I'm going to stop right here. All right, programming with Spiro Ollie. All right, Zach, tell us all about Ollie. So the Ollie is a robot with wheels, obviously, and it will move uh, on its own if you give it a program with an app called Tickle, or you can use another uh, app uh, called Draw and Drive, or uh, the actual uh, Ollie app itself that will okay. allow, that will allow you to actually control it. Okay. Um, we are using Tickle, which is an app that allows you to uh, maneuver the robot around. So you're um, programming it mm -hmm. in the direction you want it to yeah. go mm -hmm. and what you want it to do. Should I demonstrate? Yeah. Show us. It's not going straight for some reason. Yeah, I'm trying to fix it. So what is the program, what did you program it to do? I program, I'm trying to program it to follow the track. Okay. So this is a track that you set up yesterday. Yeah. And you, you program it to stay inside the line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Evan, tell us about it. Tell us about the Ollie you're working with. Well, I'm also trying to get the ollie through the track, and I'm trying to program it so it will go forward about two seconds at 90% speed, and yeah. then turn it right at 90 degrees. Okay, very good. And what about the BP-8 there? The BB-8 is also one of the ollies, but it moves kind of differently because it's um, a round shape, and it has a magnetic hand, head, and it has a magnetic ball inside, so when the uh, BB-8 moves, the magnetic moves, so the head will stay up. Oh, okay. So the head sort of revolves on top of it? Yes. Can, can we see it? Uh, yes. So you're using a different program than Tickle for that? No, you're still using Tickle. For BB-8? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. It will it will wobble around because the head is a little bit more extra weight to its body. Oh, okay. So that's what that's it. There it goes. Little robot. This one is a really fragile child. That's why we're not using it.
the BB-8 is? It's really hard to control. Oh, okay. And as you look, as I turn it, the head tries to stay on the top. That's so cool. All right, I like that. I like that. So, between the BB-8 and the Spiro Ollie, which one do you guys like better? Ollie. You like Ollie? Because it can run into stuff really good? Yeah, because it has treads that protect it from the damage. And then, even if it is a wall, it won't break and then you'll have to go to the store and buy a new one. <laughs> it's there. Very good. Very good. Anything else you want to say about Ollie's, or you just oh. want to keep programming? And when you program it with the apps or Tickle, you can also change its color to whatever you want, like the little light it has. Uh huh. So you can change it to green, pink, black, purple, uh, whatever you want. Okay. Very good. All right. I will check back with you when you guys do some programming. Okay. Good job.